Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Sergio Briones. If you're new, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I upload videos about business, uh, real estate, and personal developments. So I haven't uploaded, uploaded in a few weeks, maybe a month. I I, I don't remember. Uh, I just thought I would update. Uh, and, and let you all know that uh, uh, we finally opened our, uh, the meat market inside uh, my convenience store. So, uh, for, for, for those of you have, that have been following along, uh, you probably remember that uh, uh, my wife and I we, we went to to the valley to McAllen, Texas, to pick up a, a meat display. Excuse me, guys. And after maybe like six months or eight months of waiting, getting all the parts together, we, we finally opened the meat market on later than, than, than I would like. We opened on December 25th. So uh, we weren't ready for, for, the, for, the, for the 24th or the 23rd. Fortunately, we had to open on, until December 25th. And as you can imagine, because most of the people that are gonna do cookouts, or I mean, they, they already prepared themselves and they bought everything on the 23rd or, or maybe even the 24th or, or before. And we opened on the 25th. It was uh, super, super slow, uh, the sales. Um, and now I'm talking about the sales on the on, on the on the meat market. We weren't selling a lot of a, a lot of beef or, or, or a lot of uh, a lot a lot of inventory from there. I mean the store was doing the, the usual numbers, but that was a, that was my mistake for not moving uh, faster. I I hired a a butcher. A, a lady for the for the morning shift and I couldn't find the somebody for the for the evenings so I, I I am training one of my employees so he can so he can basically cover the, the, the evening shift the morning shift is the one that's that that does most of the cuttings of the beef and She's the one that dresses the the display with with the beef and and she does basically most of the of the hard work of the of the work that requires more skills. The evening shift is more of dispatching. So a customer comes and they place an order. You, you just dispatch the customer. So the evening shift they don't need that much experience. That's why I decided to hire. Mm, not hire but i i decided to play somebody within within the within the the business one of my cashiers i decided to put him in and 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 so he can be helping and cover that that uh, that opening uh, so today's february I, I believe it's february 10th uh we've been open for about a month and a half it's been slowly picking up uh, I'm, I'm probably still in negative numbers. Uh, if you deduct the payroll of, the, of the, of the butcher, I'm still probably in negative numbers because the sales are not enough to. Uh, what I'm looking at, at at the at the at the at the at the meat is as right now we're working with a probably probably an average of a forty percent uh, profit margin forty between 40 and 45 percent profit margin so the margins are, are higher than, than the convenience store the convenience store we're working with an average of 30 percent uh, the mean market is is between 40 and 45 let's say 42 percent uh, profit margin so the profits are larger but i again i had to hire somebody else to, to i i probably pay them around uh about around 450 a week so I would have to sell probably upwards of three thousand dollars of of beef to make it worth worth it. 
but I mean, right now it's an investment. Right now, uh, as any business, when you start, uh, uh, it's it's slow in, in the beginning. So, but we, we've been seeing that slowly it's it's picking up. Slowly, slowly it's been picking up. It's pick, it's been picking up. Uh, so today's uh, Tuesday, and and in the morning I, I received a phone call from uh, from the butcher. She said that the that the display wasn't working and a lot of the meats uh, had been uh, unrefrigerated for for a while. So right now they're checking the, the meat, and make sure, making sure that everything's okay. And uh, we we moved all, all of the all of all of the all, all of the inventory that was in the display. We moved it to the walking cooler, which is also refrigerated at around 37 degrees. Yeah, so right now we've been averaging about, I want to say around, around 250 to, let's say we've been we've been selling about 300 dollars a day of uh, of meat, of beef, and and I keep calling it uh, beef, but we also sell chicken and and we sell other uh, other other things that the that the that that most of meat markets sell. So yeah, we, we've been averaging about three hundred dollars a day. So maybe we, we we're selling about two thousand dollars a week uh, right now. So if, if uh, once again, if you do the forty percent margin, two thousand times four, that's forty uh, percent. That's what uh, eight hundred dollars profit in two thousand dollars. So, so I mean, we're not doing that bad. Uh, once again, most of our customers don't know that uh, that we opened the, the meat market already because most of, most of, most of our customers are, are especially the ones that buy beer. The ones that buy beer are, are very they're very usual to, to, to just go in straight to the beer and they leave, they leave. They probably don't know but they've never been to the other hallways because they they always use the same hallway, open the same door, and and, and do the same routine every day. So uh, we've been thinking of moving. Well, we already started moving some things around. I was doing some research on how the su uh, supermarkets do it. They usually put milk and eggs. On the back of the store, which which we we, are, we already have them that way, so that the customer those those essentials that people buy almost every day, you have to travel all the way back to a store and walk through the whole store to to go to go grab the the daily essentials like uh, like uh, bread and and milk and, and eggs, and uh, there's there's research that proves that the more time people spend inside the store, the more they're gonna buy it and the more you sell. So you don't want people coming in and out right away. You, you want them to, to spend a little more time in, in, in the store. Uh, so to your so your sales can go up. So right now we're thinking of putting the beer closer to the meat market that that way because alcohol is, is, is our number one seller and that and, the, and we get most most traffic out of that product. So we're thinking of moving it close to closer to the to the meat market. That way, we're gonna get all those eyes looking at the at the meat markets. And uh, as I was mentioning before, uh, uh, before uh, we were cut off, uh, we're selling other products. Uh, the the butcher she's making she's also making uh, uh, salsas. Uh, I don't I don't know what they're called in English, but. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's called hot sauce, but I mean it's uh, sauces like for with uh, with spices and, and uh, green peppers and we're, 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 she's making containers and selling them. Uh, she's also uh, getting the peppers and putting uh, inside a uh, Philadelphia cheese and wrapping them in bacon and selling them. Uh, a lot of the meats that 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 is not moving fast. We cook it and we sell it 
uh, in a tray. I'll post a picture of it. Uh, we, we call them in Spanish carnitas, which is uh, like uh, beefs. And there's different kinds of beefs and, and, and we cook it uh, and we sell it uh, per day because it, they, they'll go faster cooked. Uh, she's she's also cooking uh, pork tails, uh, the, and she dumps them in, in oil and, uh, and cooks them. And those usually sell. People eat them with hot sauce, with the, with the red hot sauce, uh, and they're, they're very good. Uh, on the weekends, she's also cooking. Uh, I think they're called uh, pig. Uh, what is it called? Uh, they're called tripas in Spanish. In English, I I, I think they're called. Uh, in I don't know if it's intestines or something like that. I I, I have to look up the term. Maybe I'll, 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 I'll if I if I find it, I'll I'll, I'll post it here. And uh, and on Sundays we also sell menudo, which I also don't know the the English uh, name of it. But all these all these hot foods, all these prepared foods, they they help increase the sales of course we charge tax on those items because they're they're prepared hot foods so we charge tax on, on those items but those items also help us uh, they help move the product if it's a selling we cook it and we sell it faster so uh, it's a good thing with with a meat market that nothing goes to waste everything is either cooked or, or repurposed or, or, or we do something about it so uh, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very new to this, uh, to this new business. I mean, it's the same business inside the inside my convenience store, but it, it's like if it was another business because it's a whole different uh, bargain. Um, I, I'm liking it so far. If you guys have any questions, if, if if you guys want me to do a separate video on on the on the equipment I had to buy. To, to open the meat market, let me know. I, I can do another video. If you, guys, if, you guys, if you guys have any questions about the business, about the meat markets, about the convenience store, uh, also let me know, drop a question below. Uh, I'll be glad to help. Thanks a lot guys, God bless, bye.